survey after survey have shown that you know a lot of retiree okay for example this is a hsbc survey show that more than 85 percent of the retiree regret that they did not save enough for their retirement aspiration some people just wait just delay you know their retirement saving or the accumulation of their retirement asset but when they realize it the time span for them to accumulate their retirement asset is so short okay so then that's why they do not they are not able to enjoy the kind of living expenses and the kind of lifestyle that they want when they retire so that's why ideally you should plan and start saving for your retirement lifestyle funding at least 20 years from the date of your retirement age so assuming you're going to retire at the age of 55 years old then in that case minus 20 years should it means that when you're 35 years old ideally you should start saving okay for your retirement funding already so uh, maybe you may not be able to save much but you should start doing so to make sure that you're on track to accumulate enough retirement fund to support your retirement lifestyle okay now let's face this fact whatever those of you even though you have got epf contribution even though your employer may contribute to the, the epf account for you that is still not enough okay and plus the fact that there are challenges uh, faced by uh, epf in terms of investment management in terms of the management of the member chances are whatever that you get when you retire uh, it is definitely not enough to support your desired retirement lifestyle or to support you to achieve some of the financial goals that you want so for that matter it's very important for you to start building some retirement asset whether it's a liquid investment or whether it's a property investment able to supplement whatever retirement fund that you have got next i can tell you this retirement planning and when you come to actual retirement is pretty tricky kind of uh, affair because when you retire it means that you are going to stop doing work that is giving you active income and the moment you retire you will not enjoy and you will not receive any active income anymore say for example every month you are receiving ten thousand per month so okay when you are still working but when you retire that meaning that the ten thousand per month income does not come into your bank account anymore okay so that's why to a lot of people it is a very big decision in, in fact it is one of the biggest financial decision in your life or in anyone's life okay so that's why if you were to decide that you want to retire or make a decision to retire but later on you find that you do not have enough money after a few years uh, to support your retirement years then for you to come back to the workforce how to start whatever activity to generate active income it could be very challenging for anyone so that's why for a lot of people it is uh, something very anxious uh, very uncertain to say can i retire or not can i retire next two years can i really retire at the age of 55 or not? okay so for that matter based on my experience if you do not have a holistic financial plan done based on your particular situation income your expenses your financial goals and your commitment okay then this guessing game about whether you can afford to retire now or not i can assure you will remain just a guessing game and even after you retire you can still be not so sure whether that you have enough uh, amount of asset to last you another 20 25 or 30 years of your retirement years so that's why I, I will always suggest those of us who are professional who are educated to take this guessing game to guess you no know, take this guessing work out of the your life huh? do a proper holistic financial plan which also cost you so much 
put in all the data to you, and then to see for sure that if we retire at 55, will you have enough asset to support your retirement lifestyle up to the age of maybe 85 years old? So if you have, congratulations, you, know, you really confirm that you can retire comfortably without guessing. But if you do not have, uh, whatever you have may last you up to 75 years old, then for that matter, you may need to adjust your retirement plan, your retirement age, you know, or even, even your investment strategy. So it is really nothing so rocket science about it. It's a matter of uh, be very determined uh, to get clarity in your personal finance. And, and the next point that I want to remind you, if those of you who are like quite close to retirement age already, say for example, you want to retire within another three years or another four years uh, or five years, then it's important for you to make sure not only that you have enough retirement asset, but you need to start figuring about figuring out by the time that you retire and you need say 10,000 per month to support your retirement lifestyle, then you got to figure out this 10,000 per month will come from where? Or maybe 2,000 or 3,000 come from your property rental. Then another 2,000 uh, maybe come from your FD interest. Okay. Then another 1,000 may come from the, uh, this dividend from the share uh, that you have invested. And where else? So only by going through this exercise, then you can walk into your retirement years with confidence that you have enough source of income every year. Otherwise, you will end up like got to sell your property, got to liquidate your uh, FD, okay? break your FD in order to maintain your monthly lifestyle or whatever unexpected expenses during retirement years. I will tell you that is going to be a very painful experience, a uh, very painful feeling, and you do not want to go through that if not necessary. So plan for that. So these are the pointers that I urge you to look at you know, when you are looking into your retirement planning. Okay, if you are able to plan according to what I suggested just now, uh, I'm sure that will put you in a strong footing for you to enjoy your retirement years.